always to locate the BIOS, you should locate first this IC. This is the super input output IC. Okay, so the BIOS can be near to this IC or near to the IC head. Okay, as you can see, low res resistance. Okay, we have the IC hedge or the search bridge here, and we have here the BIOS. Okay, so as you can see here, so we have here this point. Okay, as you can see this point, and also we have here a mark. This point means, or this hole means, this is pin number one, two, three, four. So this pin, pin number four, is connected to the ground. Okay, let's check using the multimeter okay so as you can see so the pin number four is connected to the ground as you can see in the multimeter we have here zero ohm low resistor okay and the pin number eight if you put the adapter here in the power jack you will get automatically here in the pin number eight three point three volt if you get three point three volt means the power in the motherboard is good if you don't get any three point three volt here means you have a problem in the power in your motherboard so let's check another motherboard okay so for this motherboard for example let's look for the bias as you can see here we have the bias as you can see okay so here we have this hole means we have here pin number one two three four five six seven eight always four connected to the ground let's check again okay no problem let's put our multimeter here and choose the buzzer option and then check this bias okay so we have here the pin number four is right here as you can see this is the pin number four okay and here of course we have ground here as you can see low res resistance okay so always so keep in your mind that always the pin number four of the bios is connected to the ground so always the pin number four of the bios is connected to the ground and and the pin number eight is connected to the 3.3 volt voltage if you use your multimeter you will find here 3.3 volts okay but you can just put here in the power jack put just the adapter of the laptop and then go and check this pin number edge you will find 3.3 volt means the motherboard the power in the motherboard is good 99% of the power in the motherboard is good because the BIOS is the last stage of power. Okay, but if you don't find here 3.3 volt means you have a problem in your motherboard. You should check the power circuit. You should check first the power jack and the component near to the power jack you should check your power jack cable if you have a power jack cable in your motherboard then you should check the 3.3 volt 5 volt circuit in your motherboard okay i will show you another motherboard okay so i have here another motherboard and as we see before for this motherboard we have this kind of bios okay normally the majority of motherboards of laptop motherboards contain a bios with eight pins okay but for this we have this kind of bios this is like an eSIMD bios okay this bios normally this is an old bios okay i will show you another motherboard than the old old one also we have this bios uh, you will no longer find this kind of bios in laptop motherboard normally this bios you can find it in the computer motherboard okay this is an old motherboard and an old bios okay as you can see here in this motherboard do you see the coils this is old coils yeah this is very old this is an old motherboard.
Okay, as you see, we have here switches. This is an odd motherboard. And this kind of chips. Okay? So this is it. So, as I told to you, so the BIOS has a very important role in the laptop motherboard. So, always the BIOS is connected to the ground in the pin number 4 and the pin number 8 you will find 3.3 volt this is the main important tips that you should keep in your mind about the BIOS okay so the pin number 4 for the BIOS is connected to the ground and the pin number 8 is connected to 3.3 volt path okay if you use your multimeter and check the, the pin number 8 of any BIOS any 8 pin BIOS in any laptop motherboard you will find 3.3 volt okay when you put your power jack okay and of course the BIOS contain a program if this program in that BIOS is broken or corrupted the BIOS will stop working means the motherboard will stop working and will become dead okay so I will show you in a paper this tips okay so as I told to you okay let's assume that we have here a BIOS as you can see this is the BIOS I see, okay? We have here, as you can see, four pins in this side, and here we have four pins in this side. Let's assume that this is, we have here a hole, so this is the pin number one, okay? This is the pin number two, three, four, okay? So the pin number four is connected always to the ground, okay? And here, of course, we have 5, 6, 7, and 8. Keep in mind, always the direction of the reading for the BIOS is counterclockwise, as you can see here. Okay? So, this pin, always you will find 3.3 volts here. Always to locate the BIOS, you should locate first this IC. This is the super input output IC okay so the BIOS can be near to this IC or near to the ICH okay always or usually in all motherboards you can find the BIOS near to this IC the CPU input output IC or SIO or the ICH for this motherboard this is the BIOS okay please you should differentiate between the BIOS and the MOSFETs as you see here we have MOSFETs and here we have BIOS always the BIOS or the format or the shape of BIOS is bigger than the MOSFETs as you can see here so this IC is bigger than this okay okay so this is the BIOS. You can differentiate between MOSFETs and BIOS by the size or the color. Sometimes you can find the BIOS with a color here. Okay? I will show you a motherboard with this type of BIOS. Okay? With a color. So let's see, for example, let's see this motherboard. As you can see here, so this is the super this is the ICH, this is the super input output, so we have here the BIOS, as you see. Do you see this color? Okay, so as you see, this is a MOSFET, and this is a BIOS. The BIOS is bigger than the MOSFET in times of size, and also we have here a color, and also it is usually near to the SIO and to ICH, okay? I will show you the BIOS in another motherboard so let's check for example this motherboard as you see so here this is the super input output so we can check near to this super input output and here we have the ICH as you can see 
Okay, so here, as you can see, this is the bias. Okay, this bias is bigger than this, as you can see. Okay, this is bigger than this. This is MOSFET, or this is a, a normal IC, and this is bias. Okay, so I will show you in another motherboard in order to understand clearly. Okay, so here, let's look for the bias in this motherboard. So let's see here. Okay, so here we don't have the bias here. So, ah, uh, yes, in this motherboard, the bias, the type of bias is this. As you see, we don't have in this motherboard a bias with eight pins like this no we have this kind of bias as you see do you see this paint this color this is a paint so this is a bias for this motherboard we have this kind of bias okay there is another kind of bias i will show you another kind of bias as you see in this motherboard this is an old motherboard as you can see so this is an old bias as you can see, this is also BIOS. But in general, the BIOS or the new BIOSes that you will find a lot in the motherboards is the BIOS with eight pins, as you can see here. Okay? So this is a BIOS with eight pins. So let's check this BIOS, as you can see. So here, we have here, this mark means and here also we have a small hole, as you can see, means this is the pin number one, okay? This is the pin number one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Always in the BIOS, the pin number four is connected to the ground. And the pin number eight is connected to the high line, means if you power up the motherboard, you will find that the pin number 8 is connected. You will find 3.3 volt in the pin number 8. And always the pin number 4 is connected to, to the ground. No, normally without powering up the motherboard, if you just put the power jack or the adapter, in the power jack of the motherboard, you will find here 3.3 volt. If you will find 3.3 volt, means the power in general in the motherboard is good. If you don't find 3.3 volt here, so you have problem with the power in the motherboard. You should check maybe the 3.3 volt, 5 volt circuit, or you have problem in the super input output, etc. Okay. So let's check using the multimeter. Let's check the pin number four if it is connected to the ground or not. So I have here the multimeter as you can see here. Okay, this is my multi multimeter. I will put always this selector to the buzzer option. Okay, and then press the power button as you can see so let's check now the pin number four if it is connected to the ground or not okay i will put so we have here the pin number one so here i have pin number four so i will put my probe the first probe here the black probe in this and then put the other probe so let's check first the continuity, it's good. So one probe here in the pin number 4 of the BIOS IC and the other probe in the ground. As you can hear in the merge meter, okay? Means this pin is connected to the ground. 